electric power tools. But if we are truly being honest with you, we eventually lost our way. We stopped delivering innovative solutions to all of you. So 14 years ago, we began a new journey. At that time, we were a small company. We had 207 people at our global headquarters. We were internally focused. We were an electric tool company. But we completely ignored the first phase of the cordless revolution with NICAD technology. And we clearly lacked the resources to develop the new products you need year after year. So we had a choice as a company and as a business. It was innovate or die. Deliver disruptive innovation, not me too products, not incremental innovation by adding a few features to a current product, but disruptive innovations, delivering productivity and safety solutions for you. We made the choice to focus on you, our core trades. First, we challenged our teams to understand what you do from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, on and off the job site. We combined listening and watching, discussing, and understanding you and your pain points with pushing the envelope of technology, lithium batteries and electronics and motors, digital technology, advancement in materials like carbide and steel and resin, advanced manufacturing designs and processes. We were no longer an electric tool company or a power tool company, but a technology partner, a solution provider for each of you. Now we began with mechanical and electrical and plumbing trades and expanded as we added more resources to power utility, transportation maintenance, remodeling, general contractors, and more delivering more productivity and safety solutions than any other brand in cordless tools and equipment, in accessories, in hand tools, in layout, in storage, and safety products. The difference at Milwaukee Tool is our people and our culture. These are the two bookends that determine our success. We constantly keep you, our core users, the focus of every decision we make. We have grown from 1,000 employees 14 years ago in the United States to almost 5,000 people today. We are striving to recruit, retain, and invest in the most inclusive, most talented, passionate people in any business. We are a global leader in our industry, headquartered right here in Brookville, Wisconsin, with corporate manufacturing distribution facilities in Wisconsin, Mississippi, and around the globe. Our people exemplify our culture. They are obsessed with developing productivity and safety solutions for you, our core users, every single day. We never settle and we are always looking to improve as we fight every day to earn the right to be your partner and your brand of choice. Now I'm proud to turn this over to a small representation of that passionate Milwaukee team who will share with you the exciting innovation to come. The Milwaukee Pipeline is a new part of our journey, and we're excited to have you join us today. Thank you. As Steve made clear at Milwaukee Tool, we are relentlessly focused on you. Obviously, the word complacency is not in our vocabulary. We will never stop innovating for you and the work that you do. This is something you're about to see firsthand. 2020 has been a big year. We've already introduced some new tools that are unlike anything else on the market. We launched our new system of equipment, MX Fuel, completely redefining the equipment space by delivering the performance, runtime, and durability you expect without those hazards associated with emissions, noise, vibrations, and frustrations of gas maintenance. The first three MX Fuel equipment solutions became available in May. The M18 fuel compressor is also now available. This is the industry's quietest cordless air compressor. Two times quieter than standard corded compressors. Our eight inch metal cutting circular saw is also hitting job sites as we speak. 
creating a new benchmark in cordless capability. This saw generates the power and speed of a 15 amp corded saw and can cut through 120 feet of corrugated decking per charge. And drum roll please, because the M18 fuel framing nailers are finally here. It was worth the wait though. With the power to nail engineered lumber and fire three nails per second without any gas cartridges, they've already been a major hit on job sites everywhere. Those solutions are just the beginning of what we have in store for you for the rest of this year and into early 2021. But first, it's time for a special spotlight session on our cordless systems with Paul Fry, Executive Vice President for Product Management. Paul, welcome to the show. Thanks, Baba Car. I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you, and we're excited to talk about our bread and butter with Milwaukee Tools, which is cordless power tools. And it's hard to think about how far cordless technology has come in the last 10 to 15 years, because right now there are products powered by batteries that certainly I never would have come close to imagining could ever be cordless. It's just been incredible to see. Yeah, honestly, it's even exceeded you know my expectations. Uh, when you look at it at the end, it's it's the user that's brought us here, uh, but uh, they've really pushed us. You know, we've got a talented group of people who are exceptionally passionate about our users and figuring out how are we going to deliver productivity and safety for the site that they're on. Now that's driven us to really relentlessly invest in technology and the people that can put it to work to drive that change on the job site. And being part of Milwaukee myself over the years, that passion and that technology is something that we apply across all of our systems. And systems and system compatibility, I know, is something that's important to all of us. So can you walk us through why Milwaukee has three dedicated systems? Yeah, Baba Carr, our, our approach is a little bit unique, right? Um, you know, we've said that system for us isn't about every time we're challenged a little bit on power or runtime, we just create a whole new system and ask the user to buy a lot of the same products all over again. Each of our three systems, M12, M18, MX Fuel, each of them represents a commitment to our users and a commitment to the people that are in those systems for the long term, right? Uh, we're committed to continuously delivering innovation and disruption on each of those systems, but doing it in a way that uh, we build compatibility uh, and system for the long term. Each of these is purpose built for delivering breakthrough you know, solutions that are truly optimized for each use case for the user. Let's start off with how we're investing in M12 first. Yeah, when, you know, we spoke to that commitment earlier. Uh, one of the things you'll see in M12 is that we're going to deliver 12 new tools in 2020 alone. You know, we have a lot of major competitors that have barely managed to deliver 12 tools in the last decade on a system that competes with M12. You know, at its core, we're going to continue to do the things we do in M12. We're going to continue to put the ergonomic benefits of lithium ion to work. You think about our ability to go in and take on the hand tool, the hacksaw, the tubing cutter, the rivet tool. We've done a lot of great work like that. You're going to see a solution here tonight called the hatchet that continues that work in taking on manual tasks from the job site. M12 has also been a huge way that we disrupt the pneumatic space, uh, where you know, M12 has really become the number one replacement of the small air tool in the shop today. You know, what started with ratchets is joined this year by three more tools set to convert the pneumatic space. You know, look at a straight die grinder, right angle impact wrenches, and a first to M12 nailer. Now, M12 has also, for us, always been about helping our users work smarter, not harder. And, and really, M12 fuel has been something that's allowed us to continue to do that uh, deliver tremendous portability, but also performance. Uh, and this year you'll see six new additions to the M12 fuel family, including a, a vacuum and also an M12 fuel multi-tool, which is a hugely requested product. Finally, you know, we know that there's still product categories that our, that our customer wants us to go into, and, and uh, uh, you'll see us expand into a product category that we've had a ton of folks ask us for. Uh, but to learn more about that one, you'll have to tune in to uh, next month's show. Uh, overall, you know, Babacar, we have not skipped a beat uh, when it comes to the expansion of M12 and its family. Uh, we'll be over 120 tools here in, in 2020 and still ton more to come. Now I want to go through and shift gears a little bit because 
M12 launching 12 new tools this year is huge. But M18 launching 20 this year is crazy. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that's uh, every bit of the truth. You're going to see uh, 20 additional tools on M18 uh, this year. You know, what started a dozen years ago uh, in pursuit of really eliminating a lot of frustration from so many different power sources on the job site, using everything we're doing at battery, at motor, and electronics uh, to deliver a compatible platform that would allow us to eliminate. 18-volt uh, NICAD, AC cords, pneumatics, two-cycle engines in some cases. It's really allowed us to build the number one trade-focused cordless system in the world. In 2020, you're going to see us continue to chase that AC cord from the site. Uh, you're going to see a breakthrough product like the M18 8-inch metal cutting saw, which is capable of cutting half-inch thick plate steel and cutting over 120 feet of corrugated decking on a single charge. You're going to see us uh, continue innovation in places that, you know, that Milwaukee is legend. Things like the next generation of a Sawzall and a whole hog. You're going to see us continue to work to obsolete pneumatics uh, from the job site with solutions like the framing nailer and the stapler. Yes. That whole hog is definitely a beast. It does exist. I've seen the memes. Nope, it's real. We're finally shipping the M18 dual framing nailer. And, you know, for those customers that aren't quite ready to go there, we're also going to deliver an M18 fuel compressor for those that are ready to start heading uh, towards cordless but not give up those pneumatics all the way. We're also taking on that pneumatic user in the shop. Uh, you know, we've created a leadership in, in the impact space, and we've got some awesome new wrenches uh, still to come here in 2020. That's ridiculous. That is a huge list of new innovation that's going to be hitting this line already, packed with a ton of great offerings. Yeah, hey, beyond that, we're going to continue to deliver on our commitment to mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Uh, you're going to continue to see us drive innovation and job site cleanup. I'd like to uh, continue see to see these guys get to the tools already. And also, a huge fan favorite, you're going to see us integrate two of the world's most popular systems. You're going to see us bring M18 and PAC out together for the first time. In the end of the day, M18 remains the most capable, most diverse system of solutions the job site has ever seen. Over 230 tools now built from the ground up, focused on the trades. Just incredible. We're really looking forward to all of that innovation to come out with. And I can't, I can just hear the, uh, the amount of excitement coming from people who are finally able to see that M18 and Pack Out joining uh, in our platform. But I really want to dive into our last one here, the newest one that people are really excited about, MX Fuel. You know, Babacar, introducing a new system is not something that people in this building take lightly. But the challenges our user had with safety and productivity when it came to that light equipment space, man, they were way too big for us to ignore. The team you know, went out and designed the, the MX fuel system from the ground up uh, to be focused on the requirements of that light equipment space, uh, which has a very different set of needs from the things we're doing today in M12 and in M18. I think the thing to remember here, though, is that unlike M12 and M18, where you know, we started those systems back in 2007, you know, this one's on the very first pitch of the first inning. And already, though, we're seeing disruption on the job site. You're seeing a core drill that can deliver unmatched control for that user and a new level uh, of safety and productivity. You're seeing a breaker that, although it runs on a battery, has anyone it used any of these tools, these MX fuel tools? Uh, than the solutions the user has in their hand today. Uh, if you we're have, I am superbly that, jealous. That for those users, we're eliminating emissions for everybody that uses it. And depending on the kind of work you do, it's either a great supplement to a fleet of existing saws, or if what you do is cut rebar and pipe and things like that, it may totally replace your gas saw on the site. That's kind of where we've started, but already there's more to come on MX Fuel. What you're going to see in the months to come is a sewer machine, a power supply that's completely emissions-free and delivers power where you need it, a tower light that changes the way people work versus these cumbersome tow-behind lights uh, that are really a lousy solution for so many times where lights needed on the job site. You know, all that said, like I uh, like I said before, we're we're still very early uh, in this whole MX piece, and there's a ton more uh, to come in the future. We can't wait to see how that system expands, not only in the next couple of months. I, I don't know how well. well that would work, and Jeff. Really I mean, to see the long you know, I, ahead for all of I get what you're saying, but 
I know that I'm looking forward and I know the, that we're watching you know to have a vacuum on an M12 is announcements over the course of this new series. Sure, it's yeah, handy, but I don't, I don't know that it's going to provide everything that you need like we're like the M18. To, uh, you know, our team wakes up every single day focused on figuring out how we exceed our customers' expectations. Uh, we're fueled by everything we see in, in support and feedback from our system users, all the energy and the passion that, that they give us, the feedback they give us uh, makes us better every single day. Uh, and if I could, I'd love to say thank you to everybody uh, for all the support and, and the constant uh, feedback we get to help make us smarter, make us better in terms of what we deliver to the job site. Thank you, Paul, again. We already covered a lot, and there is so much more to see. Who are they kidding? They Let's haven't covered a anything. Sneak peek of what we are going to see over the next few months on the Milwaukee Pipeline. I could get behind an M12 knockout for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Andrew, I, I, I'm right there with you. I, you know, I can't think of a single time I would use a core drill, but yeah, send me three of them. We're dedicated to eliminating cords, hoses, and compressors from the work environment. In the last few years, you've seen some remarkable innovation from Milwaukee when it comes to fastening tools, such as high torque, stubby, and right angle impact wrenches, all helping make hoses a thing of the past. Our industry-leading cordless technology is taking on applications that could only be tackled with air until now. Today. We are announcing three all new M18 impact wrenches. We expect these tools to revolutionize the way automotive service is performed. To start, I'm proud to share that we're elevating the productivity for diesel maintenance professionals with the introduction of the world's first cordless one inch D handle extended anvil high torque, the most powerful cordless impact Good God, look at that tire. World. I'm jealous so of that guy. Farouk is joining us now to share more about this breakthrough in cordless fastening. When it comes to wheel maintenance, diesel techs know the one inch impact is the only tool that delivers enough power to break away some of the toughest commercial lug nuts. Whether it's strip threads, poorly maintained studs, or just over torque lug nuts, diesel techs depend on the pneumatic one inch D handle to break them loose. I work on... Techs will even resort to the torch to cut them off. Lutron lighting day. systems, Jeff. Depending I, I get it 100%. Trough work, all of that idea. stuff. On road service jobs, Having something in the M12 would be the awesome for that. Cost you time. On top of that, improper maintenance and overpressurized tools can reduce the life of the tool and lead to over torque lug nut. But taking it a step further, the 1 HD handle has the ability to do other heavy equipment maintenance with the ability to remove and install 2 inch plus bolts. Now, creating the world's most That's powerful cool, cordless man. impact wrench also leads to having to manage the vibration. That what part of the world are you in? That's why we engineered a patented battery isolator system that is designed to allow battery movement to maximize life and ensure a constant connection between tool and battery. Now, you're all probably wondering, how long is this tool able to deliver that power? That's why we're kitting this tool with the Red Lithium High Output 12 Amp Hour Battery Pack, which on this tool allows it to remove and install up to 120 commercial lug nuts on a single charge. That's 12 wheel positions serviced on one. I got a buddy down in uh, Lexington. With two Great packs state. And a rapid charger, making this not only the ideal tool for road service work, but also the go to 1 HD handle impact that techs can depend on in the shop to get them through a full day's worth of work without running out the hose, which increases productivity. Now, we had a lot of fun there when we went down. We went over to, uh, I think it was Keeneland, the, the racetrack, had a day at the races. It was pretty cool. The risk of overtorquing lug nuts with pneumatic tools is very real. Overtorque lug nuts, combined with rust, corrosion, and all the debris that accumulates over time, can make certain lug nuts impossible to remove without a torch. And in certain cases, overstretched nuts can lead to truck wheel-offs. 
and avoidable danger on our roads that no driver, tech, or shop owner ever wants to experience. At Milwaukee, we've solved this problem on the 1HD handle with Lug Nut Mode, which uses a patented sensor to automatically shut itself off between 350 to 450 foot-pounds, allowing the tech to finish torquing the lug nut with a calibrated torque wrench to their desired torque target, giving them and the shop owner confidence that no lug nuts were over torqued and all are meeting torque spec. That's just something pneumatic tools have no way to provide. But let's talk to some diesel technicians, service managers, and shop owners to see what they think about the world's first cordless 1HD handle and bat. We actually, um, we went to, <clears throat> excuse me, the Castle and Key Distillery, and we stopped over at um, Woodford when we were down there. The Castle and Key was really cool. More than enough power to do any task we ask it to. On a shift, you run on a full battery, so that was actually pretty, pretty nice too, because it limits how many we're going to end up using or, or purchasing to put on a service truck. I'm sure we're probably doing at least 10 trailers before we even think about changing the battery or checking the battery. So the longevity of the life of the battery, I mean, it's there. It's yet to let us down on really much anything that we've done. So as far as the lug nut mode, it actually prevents stripping, which is a big thing, especially when you get technicians that may be a little bit newer. I like the lug nut mode because you know you're not going to over torque the lugs. With some of the bigger... I did a lot of damage to a bottle of uh, double oaked. Lugs from That's Woodford when we got back from there. Other stuff. I think the biggest benefit to it is the versatility. Just the ability to actually have a mobile unit because the, the battery life is long and it works with the same amount of power as something that's attached to air. Incredible technology, Zafir. I imagine this will be the absolute go-to solution for commercial diesel techs once it launches in October. Now let's switch gears as we consider a challenge that is not only faced in heavy-duty maintenance, but also in aftermarket service of passenger cars and trucks. That challenge is space. The vehicles that you and I rely on are becoming increasingly compact and crammed full of equipment, resulting in the need for better access and tight spaces. So next up, Tony Pellerin will share details on two new impact wrench models that take that challenge head on, providing industry leading size and performance to shops later this year. Our next generation M18 fuel compact and mid-torque impact wrench will deliver on the needs of this rapidly shifting automotive industry. Let's first start with the M18 fuel compact impact wrench. The M18 fuel compact impact wrench is that go-to solution to use in tight space applications because it is the most compact impact wrench in the industry. Back in 2011, we launched the first generation that really changed the way auto technicians use impact wrenches today due to its significantly small size. In 2015, we launched the second generation, which delivered a tool with more power given the smaller package. Now, coming in November, we're launching that third generation that's not only giving more power to the tool, but it's also taking off a full inch from the current generation that's out there today. This Why not just get a stubby at that point? Same, uh, same torque to range. To get into those tight space applications without having to dismantle components that are surrounding them. Along with the size, our engineering team was able to deliver more torque output to be able to complete those stubborn applications that we see in the auto shops today. Again, this is the most compact impact wrench in the industry, measuring at only 4.8 inches in length allowing you to complete applications such as interior work or underhood applications as well. Along with size, these tools deliver up to 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque, again, allowing auto technicians to be able to complete those stubborn, rusted fasteners that they often see in the workplace. Yeah, but the, the battery is as Finally, big as the, on top uh, of the size gun. And power, the M18 fuel compact impact wrenches are equipped with our new tri-LEDs to deliver high-definition lighting for maximum workspace visibility and less shadows. This solution is the industry's best solution to use in tight space applications as it delivers on the size that is critical. Now I could speak to this product all day, but let's have our professionals explain what they think. The compact is great. It's a smaller impact wrench that has the power to take off uh, some of the bigger bolts that you need in tight spaces. It's got the newer LED lights that really shine and uh, light up small spaces where you need it the most. 
you're not really compromising any power with how small it is, that's for sure. It'll take off rusty bolts, bigger bolts, you know, no problem. Size-wise, you can get in smaller suspension part areas where no impact would ever be able to get in, where you'd have to use hand tools. It's great. I mean, it saves tons of time and breaks bolts loose. Using the compact impact is great in interior work too, like seat bolts or seat belt bolts. You don't need a full-size impact like the high torque in, in a car. You really don't. The lights on the front are helpful because you don't have to struggle trying to break something loose while you're holding a flashlight in the other hand. You know, you have to fight with a rusted bolt that's in a small spot. You can just grab that quickly and you know it's going to work. As you can see, the M18 Fuel Compact Impact Wrench is that go-to solution to use when space is most limited. Now, let's get into the future of mid-torques. In 2018, we launched the first generation of this tool that bridged the gap between small, compact, and larger, heavier, high-torque impact wrenches. What drove this launch was a need for a solution with more torque output than the smaller, compact tools, but also a tool smaller and lighter weight than the heavier, high-torque impact wrenches which are often overkill for many applications within the automotive space. The launch of this tool allowed auto technicians to only utilize high torque impact wrenches when absolutely needed. Now we're delivering you a second generation that offers more torque output in a smaller package. The M18 Fuel Mid-Torque Impact Wrench is the most compact impact wrench in the market and almost a full inch shorter than the closest cordless competitor. Along with size, this tool delivers only uh, I see this as being more relevant than the subcompact, honestly. Of nut busting torque, it's making it at the, the best same power torque spec, you may as well just get a, a stubby at that point in the M12. Size, weight, power, and overall versatility that the M18 Fuel Mid Torque Impact Wrench offers. It also offers faster removal speeds, allowing technicians to complete applications such as tire removal in no time. The combination of size and performance makes the M18 Fuel Mid-Torque Impact Wrench the most well-rounded impact wrench Milwaukee tool will soon offer as it enables auto technicians to complete over 90% of their daily applications. I'm very excited about these new mid-torques, but let's hear it from the professional's point of view. The new Fuel Mid-Torque Impact is great because you're not compromising power for a smaller size. In the automotive trade, I can uh, grab the mid-torque to take off wheels, takes off lugs easily take off suspension parts, any undercarriage bolts, or anything that's rusted or stuck on. Pulls bolts off real quick, nuts off real quick. There's no issues at all with the speed. It's a quick tool. It weighs a lot less, so you don't have to strain yourself as much, especially with overhead stuff. It's honestly a go-to from now on, because it's, you know, the weight and the speed, power, everything is, is what you want. That's probably what I'll be grabbing from now on. You've seen Milwaukee's commitment to delivering solutions that make our users more productive and safer in the shop. But we are also driving this disruption for users on commercial and utility job sites across the world. We asked some users from different industries to try them out. They told us that making tools smaller, lighter, and more powerful will change the way they get their jobs done. First of all, mechanical contractors will use the compact impact wrench for concrete anchor installation, groove joint couplings up to eight inches with the mid-torque impact wrench, and we'll use the one inch D handle for large pipe flanges for oil and gas applications. Also, power utility contractors can use the compact and mid-torque wrenches when installing line hardware, but there is also a massive benefit to the one inch D handle installing and removing the foundation bolts on transmission lattice towers replacing the extremely manual process that they use today. Now there are many other users like iron workers, wind and solar contractors, and rail maintenance that will see the benefit that all of these tools deliver. Let's hear a bit of what they had to say. The thing I like about the D-handled Milwaukee Impact is the versatility of it, the power of it. Everything works great from being down on your knees to standing. It's easy to handle and maneuver and everything like that. Using the Milwaukee Impact gun, going to tighten on that one inch, inch and a half cap. This tool makes short work of it. Got great torque, 
good speed, and the light is fantastic. The Milwaukee one inch D handle, whether we're in the shop pulling lug nuts or tightening track bolts or out in the field working on crushers, it outperforms everything. I'll tell you about this lovely little one inch gem that I've been using for Milwaukee too. It works really good. Don't have to drag out hoses no more. Power that I need. Just works awesome. I love it. Go to tool now. Obviously, we are not slowing down when it comes to creating powerful and portable new fastening solutions. And we're doing it all while maintaining. That last guy really sold it for me. I don't know about you guys. 12 and M18 cordless systems. Next up, let's talk about new solutions for remodelers and carpenters. Just a few weeks ago, we announced the new M12 Fuel Multi-Tool. And yes, we got a lot of questions about whether we'd be launching an M18 Fuel version as well. Of course we are. The M18 Fuel Multi-Tool will launch later this year, and it will deliver the best multi-tool experience in the industry, generating the fastest cuts, power for demolition, and the lowest vibration. But don't just take our word for it. Joining us now is a well-known name in the tool world. It's time for a Milwaukee moment with Rob Robillard from Toolbox Buzz, who got his hands on these new multi-tools. I mean, you guys know who this is, because I have no idea. The carpentry industry with its ability to quickly and accurately make cuts that in the past required tedious and meticulous use of utility knives and and chisels. The multi-tool today has become the problem solver for us in remodeling and carpentry. In the last couple of weeks, I've been happy to be one of the first tool reviewers to get my hands on both of these tools, as well as Milwaukee's newest oscillating multi-tool blades. So what's, let's just get down to it. What's been updated? Well, let's start with the most obvious. Both of these tools are now fuel, which means fuel means brushless motor to us. And it also means that they're gonna be now more powerful and cut way faster. I rely on my M18 multi-tool daily, and this new M18 fuel is definitely faster cutting. Uh, the tools also have more aggressive oscillation angles, and Milwaukee basically changed that angle. They found a sweet spot between aggressive cutting and Well, that makes vibration. two of us, Jeff. And when you're speaking of It must be a big deal in the carpentry world, though, I guess. On both tools. One of the ways they accomplished this they added modern day Bob Vila motor, and that basically separates the motor from the housing. This reduces the, the entire vibration on the tool and it's immediately noticeable when you use it, especially side by side using the older M18 versus the newer fuel. It's amazing the difference. Both tools have 10 speed variable speed dial. The M18 fuel ranges from 10,000 to 20,000 oscillations. And additionally on the M18 fuel, there's an A on that dial which means auto load feature. <clears throat> so if you adjust that variable speed all the way to the A, it does the following. It basically, you turn the tool on, it, the no load speed drops down to 15,000 OPMs and it reduces the vibration of the tool significantly so you can s just line up that blade, start your cut. When the blade gets into the wood, the tool starts to ramp up to full throttle to 20,000 OPMs and, and really just starts cutting fast. I like this because it lets you set and forget and you can just focus on making precision cut. That's it. Um, the newer M18 fuel is definitely slimmer in the handle and larger on the working end of the tool. The power switch is now lower and recessed. And I'm assuming that this was done uh, basically to free up that grip area, the upper grip area where I grip my tool mostly. Uh, it's way more comfortable and has a lot more over rubber mold there. The older tool, it kind of irritated your hand on long term use. The blade release lever has been recessed on the new fuel as well. <clears throat> Still allows you that um, fast, easy, tool-free blade change. Also, the, MA, uh, the M12 fuel has a tool-free blade change as well, which is pretty cool considering um, many other 12-volt multi-tools do not have that. Um, the M18 fuel on the front end looks a little bit different. Milwaukee changed it from one LED to three LEDs with a 180 coverage of light. The, MA, uh, the M12 just has a single light. All right, let's talk about those blades. Uh, Milwaukee is recently um, is, is releasing a new line of oscillating multi-tool blades for wood, metal, and specialty type applications. The wood blades utilize high carbon steel with edge ground teeth, and that's gonna give you just 
way better cutting and faster performance in your cuts. There's also a really cool Japanese tooth hardwood oscillating blade. So these are like my, my pole saw that I have. They have a precision triple ground uh, Japanese teeth, which is, uh, they call something, I think they call it Pro Curve. And it's for greater control in hardwood. These are really great for making really nice, precise cuts. Um, finally, they have um, uh, titanium coated bimetal and titanium carbide teeth blades. The carbide teeth blades in particular are going to be the ones that you probably reach for in situations where you where you're going to encounter lots of different materials to cut. Um, they even have a new to world extreme materials carbide tooth blade for materials like um, wood with screws or nails, cement board, and even plaster. So um, overall, guys, as a remodeler, I'm pretty excited about Milwaukee's multiple additions and upgrades, advancements in multi-tool blades as well. And I'm super excited to see what Milwaukee has in store for us in the next few months. We really appreciate Rob taking time out of his day to share his experiences with the new multi-tools and blades. Make sure you check out toolboxbuzz.com for in-depth reviews and advice on the newest tools. We know how excited many carpenters and remodelers are about these highly requested multi-tools, but that's not all. We're about to put another very sought after tool into your hands in the form of an M12. 23 gauge pin nailer. The M12 23 gauge pin nailer was very small, very powerful. Puts a really nice hole in uh, either hardwood or softwood. It sits nice in the hand. You can control it a lot easier. It's small, it's compact, it's super powerful. I can get behind this one. Being such a small nailer. Every time I shot this gun, it's I, I've got a it's pneumatic really brad nailer that corner that I mean the hose is a bit of a pain out. in the you ass. Know, you gotta try to hit that in. It splits the wood. Milwaukee uh, pin nailer sinks them. Very nice having the smaller holes. We're not filling them. I don't see that the painters are filling them and they're not noticeable. Set the nails at a good depth every time no matter what species of wood it is. Uh, we've been using the M12 23 gauge pin nailer with uh, maple, oak, pine, MDF, add some cherry. I have not had one that didn't set, every single one has set. No hoses, no extension cords, no compressors, makes for a quieter workplace, quicker, faster, just bring it in on the job and use it. It's more convenient to have the cordless just because if you've got to go to one side of the house, you're not moving a compressor, dragging a hose, you can grab the M12 and walk downstairs if you need to. We've been going between two and three job sites um, before we have to change out the batteries. LED light is great, especially with dark pre-finished cabinets. You get to see what you're actually where you're shooting it. It has a very precise That's what she tip said. on it where I can see the workpiece very well. I can see exactly where that hole is going to be lined up. Putting very thin cabinet pieces on because they split very easy and it's very slippery. And with the double trigger, it makes it a lot easier. You can hold the piece and not have to worry about it, trying to push the tip into it. It's engineered design for the contractor. It's, it's a nice tool. It's a great addition to our line of tools that we have, and I couldn't live without it right now. I think the M12 pin nailer definitely stands up to the Milwaukee name. They're fantastic. I wouldn't want to have anything else besides Milwaukee. The M12s changed the way that we do our work, and the portability of them and the lightweight. Using the M12 helps us get in those spaces without sacrificing the power. It's nice to see that Milwaukee has an M12 platform geared for professionals. The M12 is for any guy in the trades. It's the tools they have. The M12 platform gives me every tool I need. It is nice to have a lot of different options and components on the same battery platform. As the line continues to increase, I think life will get easier for all the tradesmen. Milwaukee's looking out for us in the trades, making sure that we have the right tools to get the job done. Just four years ago, Milwaukee Tool made a strong impact in the outdoor power equipment industry with the announcement of a string trimmer, blower, and hedge trimmer. Since then, we've continued to push the levels of innovation for landscaping professionals. What do you boys think? You think there's a mower coming? Attachment system. And my personal favorite, the M18 fuel chainsaw. 
we spend literally thousands of hours researching with the landscape maintenance pros to understand the requirements for performance, durability, and ergonomics. Just a month ago, we announced a new solution for you, which offers a unique way to tackle small diameter pruning and cutting in tight access areas. Joining us to share more about the M12 Fuel Hatchet 6-inch pruning saw is the man behind all of our Milwaukee outdoor power equipment, our very own Tony Buxton. Hi everyone. Today I am very excited to walk you through our M12 Fuel Hatchet. The hatchet is optimized for small diameter pruning applications and is designed to meet the size, ergonomic, performance, and durability needs of landscape maintenance professionals. When it comes to the cutting tools that are currently available for small diameter pruning, on one end of the spectrum, you have a manual handsaw, which has a slow speed of cut and can be fatiguing to use. On the other end of the spectrum, you have a full-size chainsaw, which has a ton of power but they're large, heavy, and not very maneuverable in tight access areas. The M12 Fuel Hatchet is filling a gap in the range of cutting tools available for small diameter pruning. Let's take a look at a demonstration in a tight access area that would be very difficult to accomplish with a full size chainsaw. I'm gonna be pruning dead branches from an evergreen tree. With the compact design of the hatchet, it delivers greater maneuverability in these tight access applications allowing me to access the branch and make a precise controlled cut. With our M12 fuel technology, the tool delivers the power to cut three inch hardwoods. Now we are gonna demonstrate this in a three inch oak dowel rod versus a manual handsaw to show the increase in productivity with a reduction in fatigue. Not only is the hatchet able to complete this demanding application, it delivers cutting up to five times faster. Of than course the it's handsaw. faster than a handsaw. The tool delivers up to 120 cuts in two inch oak. A tremendous amount of runtime to complete full applications on a single charge. The M12 fuel hatchet delivers a professional feature set, including a full house chain for cleaner cuts and less vibration, an automatic oiler, an easy access chain tensioner, metal bucking spikes, and onboard storage for the scrunch. If you have any pruning applications to complete, this is a must have tool. Yeah, I don't know about that. When it comes to landscaping work, it's just as important to have a fast sawzall blade for above ground and below ground cutting work, such as root ball cuts and stump removals. Carl Weber is here to share details about a best in class pruning and clean wood cutting solution joining our extensive family of carbide teeth blades. I'm here today to introduce to you the new axe with carbide teeth for pruning and clean wood sawzall blade. I and agree. I mean, fast clean wood demolition. I actually enjoy, you know, the the, every chance I get to uh, to use my chainsaw, my gas powered one. So it also I don't want a battery power, especially it's a it's a little, little toy and to withstand impacts with abrasives, such as small rocks, dirt and sand that wear out current blades on the market today. Whenever cutting underground, we do recommend first that you check for utility lines or other hazards that could be in the way. There's no you know what, you know what I could get behind though is a, an M M18 Jaws of Life, consumer grade Jaws of Life, that I could get behind. What we've already done is remove the top of the tree and the limbs and now we're left with the stump. Jake, when you guys are on the have job, absolutely no use for it, but for what the hell? Typically, uh, we're going to bring a skid loader in here, and we're either going to use forks to dig it out or a chain to pull it out. Okay. And then between the lawn maintenance that you may need after the fact and getting the equipment in position in the first place, you could be looking at 30 minutes to an hour worth of work, right? Absolutely, yeah. 30 minutes to an hour, easily. Well, then let's see what the new Sawzall blade can do. Jake, we got that stump out in one sawzall blade. How'd that feel compared to what you usually do? Yeah, it was great. I mean, compared to bringing a skid loader out here, and that was about a 10 minute cut. Mm -hmm. a couple of kicks and it came out. That's awesome. All right, great. So this blade is coming out in September with six inch, nine inch, and 12 inch blade lengths, along with five additional carbide sawzall blades and lengths, now allowing us to offer you the best carbide blade for every application.
the M18 is leading the way in the battery power tools. I love the power. It will get the job done. I feel Milwaukee Tool is constantly striving to meet the goals of each specific trade in every tool that they come out with. Everything that we need to do can be done with the M18 system. Everything works together. I don't see anyone else making anything nearly as good. The M18, it's built for the future. In the back half of 2020, we will take fuel technology into a product category like we never have before. The possibly unpopular, but always important category of job site cleanup. Joining us now is Ben Teske to share how these new solutions will dramatically change the experience of cleaning up your job site. This might be the when vacuum you're sites, looking for. You encounter a wide variety of cleanup situations across a different range of environments. Additionally, there's a lot of different types of debris that you have to clean up. Anything Safety from man sawdust, here. concrete dust, drywall dust, other general debris, and sometimes even water. Well, sometimes in large areas, a lot of times there's different spot messes that need to be dealt with. I'm excited to introduce to you three new innovations coming to the job site cleanup space, all allowing you to clean faster, be more productive, and be more efficient while you're on the job site. Starting with the M18 Fuel Compact Vacuum. Powerful, compact, and with the ultimate versatility. This vacuum is engineered to give you the best spot cleanup experience that you've ever had. It all starts with our patented two-stage debris separation. While other competitive vacuums on job sites might not be built to handle the harsh material you guys are seeing day to day, this vacuum separates out debris before it gets in and cycles through your vacuum and gets into your filter. That way it allows you to pick up these harsher job site materials without bogging down or losing any suction. Additionally, we gave this vacuum up to 50% more sustained suction. God damn it, I just bought a Dyson. No longer do you have to stop in the middle of when you're cleaning up to clear other clogs. This one allows you to power through all of that debris because we really made it and designed it to handle all of that job site material. Although I did try I to talk the wife into a uh, Milwaukee backpack before we bought it. Quick demo. Pay attention to how we clean up all of this material. Well, as this competitor starts to pick it up, eventually it becomes bogged down and even becomes completely clogged towards the end of the demo. <laughs> Maximum versatility allows you to get more work done. A lot of times when you're walking onto the job site, you aren't really exactly sure what type of cleanup environment you might come across that day. That's why we've equipped this tool with five dedicated solutions. A powered floor tool, bare floor tool, round brush tool, utility nozzle, and even a hose with a crevice tool attachment. This allows you to be prepared for any situation that you might come across. This maximum versatility really allows you to get more work done throughout your day. Next, I'm excited to introduce you to two new vacuums coming to the wet dry cleanup space, beginning with the M18 Fuel Packout two and a half gallon wet dry vacuum. Oh, that's pretty this dope. This vacuum has been one of the most requested power tools to be compatible with our packout system. Cleaning faster is the name of the game. This vacuum delivers up to 60% more suction compared to other competitors. This gives you enough power and enough performance to clean up any of the materials you guys are seeing regularly on job sites. In order to prove to you how much power this unit has, I want to show you this quick demo against this 20 volt competitor. You know there's going to be a $100 markup for the packout though. Debris compared to them and also envision how much time this will save you on the job site and throughout your day. Ease of transportation and mobility is also very important. This vacuum has unmatched mobility and less downtime, saving you time on site. It's fully compatible anywhere on the packout system, which really allows you to get on and off the site faster, saving extra trips back and forth to the truck for more tools. Additionally, you can use this vacuum on or off the packout stack, making this the most versatile and portable wet dry solution available. A lot of times you are working in occupied locations around other people. We took that into account and made this vacuum up to two times quieter to be optimized for use in those occupied spaces. No longer do you have to worry about being noisy and disrupting everyone else around you on site. That was never a concern of mine, I don't know about you guys. 
I want to introduce you to the newest innovation in the M12 cleanup space. The M12 Fuel 1.0 Here's your vacuum, Jeff. Dry vacuum. We're bringing a cordless wet dry vacuum to the 12 volt platform for the very first time. This is truly the first of its kind 12 volt wet dry vacuum. With up to 40% more suction than other 18 volt competitors, we are still giving you all the power that you need to get your work done faster. In order to prove this, I want to show you a quick demo where we pick up some water against another 20 volt competitor. Saving space is also important. A lot of times you're working out of a van or a truck where space is hard to come by. We've made this with a small... They should have made this pack out uh, compatible too, though. It also has our organized internal accessory storage, which keeps all of your components neatly under the lid. Additionally, we have also incorporated a hanging feature on this vacuum for additional storage options. All of this together makes this the most compact 12-volt wet-dry vacuum. Again, in these service environments, oftentimes you're going to be working in occupied spaces. We also made this vacuum up to two times quieter than traditional wet-dry vacuums. At just 87 decibels in normal operation, this vacuum is much quieter than other vacuums you're used to using on site, creating a better working experience for you and everyone else around. As you can see, we're really expanding in the job site cleanup space. Fuel is allowing us to reach new performance levels. Look for all three of these vacuums to start shipping in mid-October. They did it right with the fuel on the M12, but they should have incorporated the pack out Let's on that face one. It, the drain cleaning industry has experienced far too little innovation for far too long. So in the last couple years, you've probably noticed that Milwaukee Tool has been getting into the drain cleaning industry in a big way. You, you know what would have been good they is if they incorporated the like a, an inflator option in there. Of technology. Our Perfect to keep in a car. Portable and versatile allowing you the ability to service more calls with less hassle. This year, we're keeping that momentum going with not only the most portable sectional machine, but also the most powerful in its class. With more power than corded, this machine can power through heavy routes up to 150 feet out. The new M18 fuel sectional machine for 5 8 and 7 8 inch cable. I know what you're thinking. Will a battery-powered sectional machine have the power to clear the toughest clocks? Yeah, I don't know we'll much about this, but it's my understanding day. Rigid owns the game on uh, pipe snakes. That have been using this tool for a while, they'll answer those questions and more. power in the M18 sectional machine is phenomenal. I have not had any issues with it at all um, being underpowered. If anything, it actually probably has more power than the current sectional machine that I use. I ran a sewer line uh, that was infested with roots for about 32 feet, and I had no issues whatsoever using a two and a half inch C cutter and never lagged once. I was thoroughly impressed with it. I have cleared large root blockages in four to six inch pipe. I've cleared corrosion stoppages in cast iron. I've also cleared uh, grease stoppages in PVC. And so far it has outperformed my other machines when it comes to roots for sure because it doesn't bog down. I haven't found anything yet that it can't conquer with power. On one full charge in the 12 amp battery, we have completed seven different stoppages. I've been able to complete jobs at uh, over six consecutive different addresses and to clear multiple stoppages, running uh, multiple vents per address. Um, so the runtime on this M18 sectional machine has been very impressive with how it can keep up. I did seven jobs on one battery without charging. And these aren't quick hits, these are going on the roof, running the cable, running the cable more. There's time involved in that. With the M18 sectional machine being so much lighter than the current machine that I use, I have definitely been able to carry more. I can carry the machine over my shoulder. I can carry cables in one hand and the box of heads or 
tarps or whatever I need, uh, I can definitely eliminate multiple trips. The fact that I can throw the shoulder strap on and carry that up with my hands free and uh, carry the cables up in one of my free hands. Also, just the light weight of the machine is, I find myself not dreading taking the machine out and climbing up onto a roof just because it's so much easier to operate than the current model that I have. So when I first heard about the M18 sectional, I was extremely concerned whether or not it had the power. Thanks, Andrew. Hands on it and tried it. Honestly, it's I'm like just a tool nerd, so tool I've ever had, it exceeded my expectations. I didn't even expect anybody to tune in, honestly. But it's cool to have you guys here. Smaller, lighter weight package than I could have ever dreamed of. Cheers, boys. The only thing I can say is get one and try it. And if you don't like it, I'll still buy it back from you. Well, it sounds like that little machine packs quite a punch. Be sure to keep an eye out for the sectional machine later this year. We know that not all of you service technicians use sectionals when clearing lines. Some of you rely on drum machines to get the job done. And we know there is plenty of- Any plumbers in the house. Right now for the release of our MX Fuel sewer drum machine. Speaking of MX Fuel, it was probably the biggest news in the industry last year. I had some time to sit down with my old friend Brian Alves for a special pipeline behind the products look at the very latest with the MX Fuel system. Brian Alves is the group <laughs> yeah, product manager overseeing MX Fuel. Welcome, Jeff. He and I actually worked together for a few years. I am definitely a toolaholic myself. And it was great to catch up. Although I use my tools. I see a lot of these guys on YouTube, Brian, you know. Thank you very much for joining us. Toolbox hey, tours, this and that and everything else. I actually really use every tool that I've bought kind of sit down and talk to you right because mx fuel has been something we've been working on for years we put a lot of time a lot of research in it now it's out there i want to hear from you what's been happening what are people's reactions yeah There's what's happening a ton of excitement surrounding mx fuel especially over the past three months since we've started shipping the initial three products and we're really seeing people gravitate uh, to these new solutions that eliminate a lot of the big issues and frustrations that they'd had to you know really fight for the past decades and to be able to do their job in completely new ways and to be able to eliminate the emissions and minimize the noise and vibration that come along with a lot of the products today you know driving a, a greener job true story product, as well as i put a jackhammer on my wedding registry solutions uh, compared to what they had access to in the past tell me more about the system and how people are adopting to it it's not just seeing people by you know one individual MX Fuel product. You Unfortunately, know, no one bought it. Just buy a core driller, just buy a breaker. We're seeing people buy you know two to three, you know all three of the initial launch products, and really adopting that entire platform and leveraging the benefits of that connected interchangeable battery system, and really providing that for the first time within the light equipment space. I appreciate you walking us through the MX Fuel system. Let's zoom in a little bit because we've had these new products in people's hands. I'm sure they have some great feedback on them. What are they saying about it? The MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw has hands down been the broadest, most widely adopted solution out of the first three products that we've been shipping. And you know, really the trades are gravitating towards how they can now go and work in these confined spaces for the first time. And we're seeing them you know, being able to more effectively and efficiently work in these trench applications in underground pipe cutting or in a basement. We even heard a story about a guy going 17 feet underground in a well to make a cut. And talk about a place you wouldn't want to have emissions. And on top of that, you know, it's a one button start, you grab it and go. And the feedback on cut speed has also been you know, phenomenal where people know they grab it and they can see that they're able to cut as fast, sometimes faster than their current gas saw. And they're just blown away that we can provide that capability, you know, not making them sacrifice any performance to get those benefits of battery technology. Some of the questions I get from pros in the field is really focused on that runtime aspect of it. Can you share what people are finding with that? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of plumbers or mechanical contractors really gravitating towards it as you know, a replacement for a lot of their pipe cutting applications and really a lot of metal or block cutting applications across the different trades. Uh, it's been a great I mean, the jackhammer's cool, but I think the only real valid tool here uh, is the the, three by three the uh, battery powered you know generator. And really, based on a lot of the feedback that we've gotten, 
is we're gonna be introducing two additional kits here in the end of the year. Uh, the first one's gonna be the MX Steel 14 inch cutoff saw with two XC batteries. Uh, again, which is gonna allow a lot of the plumbing and mechanical contractors that ability to you know, complete those pipe cutting applications in a day or some of these smaller uh, three by three squares or five foot trenches for a new tie-in to a plumbing or electrical system. And then we're also gonna have a, you know, an expansion kit with two XC batteries and a charger. They really should have done a, um, purchase, you know, a the pipe threader. And the expansion kit if they wanna be able to cut these or maybe they did. I can't remember if they did or not. But which are a little bit more common, especially in these basement environments. You mentioned earlier, people hate using a gas cutoff saw. It's a lot. Of Seems like the right platform for it, though, with all sure, that power. Sure, absolutely. I've experienced that a bit myself. I always dread reaching for a core drill and a breaker, though. Even on a cord, those can be brutal tools to use. What's MX Fuel providing those types of users? These are two of the worst applications that you know a, a trade person is going to have to do in a given day. If they find out that they have to do that, uh, you know, at the beginning of the week, it could ruin the rest of their week. And really, the breaker we were able to you know deliver less vibration, and people are you know really blown away that not only does it allow me to break wherever I need to since it's battery powered, and it does it with the same performance or more than my old. I'm so jealous of this dude right but now. Now with less vibration, I actually feel better at the end of the day. And it's really cool to see that positive impact that we can have. And with the core drill, you know, we're seeing people buy their first core drill and start to take on this work that they would normally sub out based on the safety and productivity benefits. How does it do on batteries, though? I, I feel like a pipe Incredible threader is going to chew it's through really those cool M18s real quick. Three might have paved the way for MX Fuel, but we've got another one right around the corner. MX Fuel sewer drum machine. Tell me a little bit about what users can expect. Yeah, so we're excited to be shipping this product here at the end of this year. And really, this product redefines the way that you transport a large piece of equipment, uh, like a sewer drum machine and a lot of other things that uh, fall within the light construction space. And really, the hardest part about this application was transporting that product in and out of the service van, up and down a flight of stairs. You see a lot of issues and strain and sometimes even back injuries and others. And now we're able to you know, provide a solution that reduces that strain on the person moving this product throughout the day. And it's really not just changing the way that, that we attack, you know, the sewer drum machines, but also how we'll go after, you know, light construction equipment in the future. And that's really what I want to talk about next, the future, because you better believe every single person watching right now wants to know what's next for MX Fuel. On the immediate horizon, we're going to have the MX Fuel carry on power supply and the MX Fuel rocket tower light shipping in early next year. And those are two great solutions. Yeah, see, this, this, that, that seems like the only valid solution. Emissions and, you know, versatility on the light that allows you to work indoors and outdoors uh, with more output. And these two are really just that. Next sounds step. like pretty good performance. Started with MX Fuel. There are a ton I, I don't know the first thing about pipe threading. I've, I've seen the ridges in the space, field, and, and I know that they're always corded, and they seem like they use a lot of juice. M18, M12 started with a handful of tools. I cannot wait to see what happens with mx fuel brian thank you so much for taking the time to give us an update on how this business is doing there's really not enough flannel in this broadcast especially that guy with the hatchet he should have been in a flannel shirt full lumberjack i mean he had the beard i'll give him credit for that but what I want to see, an M12 heated flannel. What an evening. I hope that you are just as Oh, you gotta be kidding me, that's it? Are ...about everything that you just saw, and that you can sense the utter passion that goes into each and every product. We are red to the core. Episode two of Milwaukee Pipeline is right around the corner. That's Tune lame. Tune in on September 10th to see what's new in our hugely popular pack out modular uh, storage okay. system. And catch a first glimpse of a brand new category for us. For now, on behalf of Milwaukee Tool, I'm Bob Akar, and I thank you for joining us tonight. You're welcome, Bob Akar. See you on September 10th. I want to thank all you boys for hanging out with me. It was uh, it was really cool that uh, you know everybody tuned in and stuff. Um, 
like I said, I'm just a tool nerd and I enjoy this type of shit. So I'm glad to see there's there's more of you out there. Um, I'll probably do this again with episode two. So if uh, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of stuff with uh, low voltage. Um, you know, uh, that's what I'm uh, that's the trade I'm in is low voltage. So I work on uh, a lot of Lutron systems and some home automation stuff on my channel. I have a lot of videos with home automation and there's some other stuff tool with tools and light mechanic work. But again, thank all you guys for, for, uh, for hanging out for the last hour and a half and maybe we'll see you on the next one. Jeff, Andrew, it's been cool chatting with you guys. Hopefully I'll see you again on uh, September 10th or 5th or whatever the hell date it was. Take care boys. Oh yeah, I'll leave it up so you can uh, you can take a look at it. But uh, like I said, you know if 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 you like this type of thing, I do this. I have a wide variety of stuff on my channel, um, and if you enjoy uh, you know my ridiculous personality and commentary on shit like this, um, you might find some value to some of the other stuff. So feel free to subscribe. Please hit that like button and. Uh, Again, maybe I'll see you on the next